here is my very modest compared to many um, Green Hornet collection uh, a selection of classic 1960s toys uh, bits and pieces magazines books etc along with some custom items and some more recent Green Hornet pieces that were available kind of in the last 10-15 years we'll start with some of the vintage pieces obviously any Green Hornet collection or collector needs to have the first bits and pieces that were coming out in the US at the time that the show was screened and obviously the Gold Key comics are highly sought there's three editions I've got all three of them there um, even though the show wasn't screened as people were expecting in the UK there was quite a bit of UK Green Hornet merchandise um, he appeared um, very regularly in TV Tornado uh, I've got a fairly complete run not, not completely complete um, but I've got all of the ones that include the Green Hornet on the cover or inside he was a text story or a strip uh, these are the front covers this is the first one that he appeared in dated February the 25th 1967 uh, he appeared there uh, another shot of him there, some artwork, very nice. There's the Black Beauty there. Um, some other UK stuff is the World Distributors Annual. Walt Howarth artwork on the front cover there. Um, typical to all of the annuals that the company put out in the 60s. Tech stories, uh, comic strip reprints actually from the Gold Key. Um, but great fun, nice to have. Um, let's have a look at some other vintage bits there's a, a lakeside bendy toy there wish it was carded uh, as I say my collection is small um, but it's a show I really enjoy um, there's an original loose um, Corgi Black Beauty and there's the reproduction that they issued themselves about 10 years ago um, let's have a look one of the bike flicker rings which hopefully that should be picking up on the, the camera I think it does so that's quite cool see Van Williams the Green Hornet and then the Green Hornet logo these were badges that kids could wear this was a horror magazine of the time with a front cover shot of Van um, original Green Hornet Viewmaster uh, based on the episode Program for Death um, very nice typical Viewmaster again um, some of the more, oh, there we go, some more vintage. Uh, these are all very nice condition actually. These have been bought over the last sort of 15, 20 years. Um, it's quite hard now to pick up Green Hornet stuff, certainly for people in England, at anywhere near a decent price. Because it's, uh, although clearly never as popular as the 60s Batman TV show, with the advent of uh, Bruce Lee's following um, in the 70s, Green Hornet stuff has got kind of two factions of followers. The general public probably don't really remember the show at all, uh, but you speak to people who are into 60s Batman and they'll know because of the connection, and obviously you speak to Bruce Lee fans, so there's some very ardent Bruce Lee collectors that want this stuff, that's why the prices are so high. But um, I've got a few bits here, as you can see, and it means a lot to me. Uh, of course, me being me, I wanted to do a Mego type of custom figure, you probably won't be able to see him too well there see if we can very nice box as ever by the incredibly talented Mike Rogers um, a replica mask for Kato there by Clint Young and mask too um, just a hat that I got off eBay that kind of works for display purposes an original TV guide that was uh, when the show first came on there's an original 1960s Whitman book, uh, very nice artwork on the front cover there, and paperback book as well from Dell. Let's have a look on some of the more recent stuff. Um, obviously, they did a Captain Action figure in the 60s. Haven't got that, um, would love one, but they did uh, a company called Play and Mantis, did some very nice replicas some years ago, and of course, they did the Green Hornet, and they did the Green Hornet twice, once in an almost perfect copy of the 60s. Captain Action outfit, but then they upgraded with a kind of more realistic mask and eyes that you can see through the mask. And then they did Kato to go with it. That's the Captain Action Kato on the 
left. In the middle there is a beautifully done Medicom Bruce Lee Kato figure. They never did a Green Hornet to go with it, which was a shame. That's the box art there. There's a, a more recent one that's just come out as well by a company called Enter Bay. Um, hopefully, if I'm a very good little boy, I may get one of those for Christmas, I'm hoping. Um, what else we had? Johnny Lightning. Uh, they did the Black Beauty a while back. Um, they did a lot of TV related vehicles and that was one of them. Replica Lunchbox. Um, very, very nice from Medicom as well. Mego style Green Hornet and Koto figures. Uh, Medicom again, obviously jumping on the uh, Green Hornet bandwagon. For no apparent reason, because it wasn't a film or at that point being talked about um, or a DVD release, but they put a lot of nice stuff out. These are these um, Lego type figures, Kubricks, and there's the Green Hornet and Kato. The soundtrack CD playing at the moment. Um, I was very fortunate to be asked um, to contribute the liner notes for the booklet there. So that was quite a thrill and a privilege as was being part of the team that organised uh, my role was very small um, in the only UK Green Hornet convention a couple of years back that Van Williams came over for. Um, I did the text uh, for the brochure for the day so it was very nice to be asked to do and met him uh, and actually looked after him when he came down to London for a few days with his lovely wife uh, very nice signed picture there of him. So there you go, my Green Hornet collection. Not the biggest, certainly there's some US guys that have got some incredible collections, uh, Bruce Lee and Green Hornet. But that's mine. Uh, enjoy letting people see it. Maybe it will encourage some other Green Hornet collectors to post some stuff of their own stuff. Um, so not my stuff out of the water, I'm sure they will. Um, but it's stuff that I like, program I enjoy because of the Bruce Lee connections. I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. Um, as well as kind of 60s spies, superheroes, masked characters. So there you go, the Green Hornet. Thanks very much for watching, guys.